Hello and welcome to the Fantasy Premier League video showing you how I did in game week 13 and what my team looks like going into game week 14. So we've made one transfer going into game week 14, we've brought in Moreno of Liverpool for Mbemba. He's got fantastic fixtures in the upcoming game weeks, Stoke away, Brighton away, then Everton at home and West Brom at home and then Bournemouth away so I'm expecting at least two or three clean sheets in, that, in those games and some attacking returns as well from the defender. So we should be in for some great returns there. Now let's look at my team and how we did in game week 13. So we got 66 points, which was 23 above the average of 43. Game week rank of just under 90,000, so it was a fantastic game week. In net, Fabianski got nine points as Swansea did fantastically well. Or well, I say fantastically well, they did well defensively. They drew 0-0 to Bournemouth, so we're happy with that. He got a save point and two bonus points. Good stuff from Fabianski. In defence, Vimmer. Very disappointing, he got zero points in the 2-1 in the loss against Crystal Palace, he got a yellow card and they conceded two goals in that game. However, on the other end, Saka, we scored and got the three bonus points. What a transfer in that has been. He got 11 points, first goal of the season for him and we've signed him at the perfect time. However, the player we did get rid of him for was Cal Norton who got nine points as he got three bonus points. So. It could have been a better transfer. It was a great transfer, but we could have transferred out someone like Vimmer instead of Norton. The final defender, Bellerin, with back-to-back -back clean sheets now, as Arsenal got a late winner against Burnley. Very happy with that. Now going into the midfield, it was another very good performance from the midfield. Zaha, the only one with a blank, getting two points in the game against Stoke. Sterling, Sean for Manchester City, he got a goal and an assist against Huddersfield as they won 2-1. His late goal securing the victory. Jesus coming off the bench getting the assist. Disappointing to see him not start, but glad he when he came on he made an impact. Salah and Hazard playing against each other. Salah got a goal, Hazard got an assist. Salah didn't get any bonus points and Hazard got three. He had a fantastic game against Liverpool. The defence couldn't deal with him and he got eight points, so very happy with him. Ahead of Chelsea's upcoming fixtures, he looks like a must-have at the moment. They've got Swansea, Newcastle, West Ham, Huddersfield, Southampton, Everton, Brighton and Stoke before the next tricky fixture against Arsenal, so I'm expecting big returns from Hazard in the upcoming game weeks. Our attack, Callum Wilson was disappointing that we captained him. He got two points in the draw against Swansea, nil-nil. Unfortunately, he couldn't back up his big return in game week 12 but we're going to keep faith in him and keep him in the team the final striker we've already spoke about Jesus who got four points Lukaku disappointing again he scored one now once now in his last seven appearances very poor for a striker of his ability so we're expecting returns from him in the upcoming game weeks now moving into my team going into game week 14 so the deadline is 28th of November at 6.45 so it's a midweek game so hopefully none of these players are rotated so they can be reserved for the weekend games but in net Rob Elliott West Brom away they're a low score inside West Brom so hopefully Rob Elliott can keep a clean sheet Stoke away for Moreno Moreno has a great fixture here hopefully he can get a clean sheet but with Liverpool you know it's risky hopefully he can get some attacking returns as well Mamadou Sacco I'm expecting back to back big returns from him Away against Brighton, can't see any reason for him not getting a clean sheet in this game. And same with Bellerin, can he get his third successive clean sheet at home to Huddersfield? I'm expecting bonus points this time and maybe an attacking return as well. Our midfield is looking fantastic, Zaha, Brighton away. I'm expecting a Palace win in this game and a couple of goals for Palace. They're looking like they're turning the form round. Then we're going to captain Raheem Sterling, we're showing a lot of faith in him. He's put in a big return in game week 13, can he back it up in game week 14 at home to Southampton? I'm hoping so. Salah, uh, away to Stoke, vice captain just in case Sterling doesn't play because of that Manchester City rotation. Hopefully that's not the case though and I'm expecting Salah to stay among the goals away against Stoke. Final midfielder, Hazard, home to Swansea, I'm expecting a goal but I'm not captaining him, him because his away form is much better than his home form but he is going to be in the first team and hopefully he can get a return. Our front three all looking like very decent fixtures. Callum Wilson, Burnley at home. Burnley are very good defensively, but hopefully Wilson can break through their defence and score. Jesus, hopefully he starts this time round home to Southampton and hopefully, hopefully he can score this time round rather than just getting an assist. Lukaku, I'm expecting him to get have a big performance. Watford away. 
He should be scoring a good couple of goals in this game. I'd be very disappointed if he doesn't. So that's my team going into game week 13. And that's how my team did in game week. And that's how my team did in game week 13. And that's what my team looks like going into game week 14. So if you enjoyed this video, then please drop a like. If you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.